Hello, Wargamers. Welcome back. Purple Druid presents Wargame Culture. Today, we are going to play Broadside by American Heritage, the naval battle game. This is a two-player game, and as a one-player person, we're going to make a couple different changes to the rules. The basic rules, your ships move along these little plus signs, these little images on the board there. You may move straight ahead as far as you want. You have to turn at the beginning of your turn, and then you can sail as far as you want to. So we're going to leave those rules in place because they are designed to create a little choke point here. Allegedly, according to the research that I've done, experienced players when playing the blue side can create a situation that red cannot win. Red wins by sailing back here and blowing up these four merchant ships that are at harbor. So to create the bottleneck, we have some buoys and we have some cannons. The buoys are marked on the bottom with sink or pass, and only the blue player is supposed to know what they are. The cannons are marked on the bottom with hit and miss. And again, only the blue player is supposed to know which they are. <clears throat> now, I have played this as a young person, and I recall once you find out where the miss is, you are able to sail through there with impunity. So we're going to change it up a little bit to make it a little more interesting for one player. And what that means is for the cannons, if you sail on either of these two, there will be a three and six chance that you can get hit. It's a one to three. Well, let's call it a four plus. Let's go on the four plus. And if you sail here, you'll be hit on a two plus. So in order to sail through there, you would need to roll a one. Otherwise, you will take a hit from the cannons. From the buoys, they will sink ships. So what we're going to do is give a four and six chance that if a red ship sails over the buoy, they will sink. Uh, the blue ships, we're going to let them pass with impunity because they know how to sail by, seeing as they... Uh, they hung those chains. So what will happen on a one, you can sail through here. On a one to three, you can sail through here. And on a one or a two, you can sail through any of those buoys if you need to. So we're going to imagine that the red team will only do so under duress. All right, so red moves first and they alternate. So what we're going to go ahead and do is start to sail these out. Uh, oh, and one more thing I don't think I mentioned. When you take a shot or when the ships attack each other, each hit they take, they lose a mast. So this one here only has one mast, so it will only be able to take one hit. So whoa, whoa. they're also tricky to move because they like to fall out. So we're going to sail up here. And likewise, we are going to begin a blockade. And I think I'm probably going to speed this up for y'all when I get around to publishing this video. first attempt we're going to try to sail here but when we get here there is a 50 50 chance of getting hit we'll hit on a four plus 
and they are not hit, so they're able to sail up here. All right, blue. And again, the red will attempt to sail there. Hit on a four plus. Yes, he's hit. He's going to lose up to the mast. Sail there. And then we will have a broadside, and those two ships will take each other out. It's going to take a shot. He's going to protect there. And the red is going to go here. This blue will sail all the way up here and take out this red boat. Ship, red ship. All right. Um, <clears throat> red. We're going to do this. So the red is going to sail here. Take out this blue ship. Blue. Come here. This one. And let's just see what happens now. Blue here. Let's sink that one. 
And then it's just a matter of attrition, isn't it? Blue, you'll each lose a mast. Red will sail here, knock this one out. Blue will sail here, he'll each lose a mast. Red will sail here, knock this one out. And blue will sail here, and I'll let them both go out. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so as you can see, this is a very strange game to play one player. And so we need to create some sort of AI, which we will talk about over on the Substack when we move into naval combat time over there. So just wanted to give this a little bit of a, of a try, see what's going on. And I think that this game has some real possibilities for solo play, but uh, yeah, definitely, definitely needs an AI or perhaps a card draw system. So, all right, very good. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate any likes or subscriptions, and be sure and share this with your friends. Uh, especially if you've played this in the past as a youngster and if you've got any ideas for AI style play go ahead and uh, leave them in the comments thanks and have a great day keep on gaming